Happy Arvo. Hello. How are you? Especially you, Conrin. It's a cool name. Conrin. Spelled with a K. I always like seeing these names that are like... Just names I'd never even come close to hearing of before. Never met a Conrin. I mean, I'm looking down this list of people who submitted videos for me to react to. Conrin, Fletcher, Scruff. <laughs> these are, these are, somehow they, they sound Australian. Somehow they sound Australian. But anyway, this is a skit from Utopia. Conrin says, highly recommend watching a few skits from Utopia for a bit of a laugh. So this is a TV show in Australia, I guess. This is a skit. It's called Australia's Defense Policy in 2023 Explained. It's short. Let's go. Proceed was to get everyone in. I thought the best way to proceed was to get everyone in the one room. Good thinking. Okay, you're all right. I'll come okay. straight to the point. <laughs> this white paper. <laughs> what was that? Get everyone in one room. Yeah, well, yeah, he, he's right. Yeah, that would be a good, good way to talk. Is recommending we spend close to $400 billion over the forward estimates. Now, at some point, the PM is going to be asked a very simple question. In order to protect us from which enemy? <laughs> it's a good question. It's, it's an important so question. Hard to say. 400 billion pick. Could be anybody. One. A regional player. Specifically, Colonel. An Indo-Pacific regional player. More specifically? Indo-Asia-Pacific. That's broad. Ooh. Border, who are you leaving out? Europe? Yeah, I sort of need a country. <laughs> Three. Or an unaligned player. No, a country. One that might threaten us. Just one. Yeah. <laughs> <I would. laughs> that guy just in the background. Europe? <laughs> Europe? Who are you leaving out? Europe? Europe? Yeah, I sort of need a country. <laughs> or an unaligned player. No, a country. One that might threaten us. Just one. Yeah. I wouldn't want to raise tensions. Where? In this room. You know what? I'll name one and you just nod. China. <laughs> okay. And what exactly are we protecting? Strategic interests. Specifically, Colonel. Indo Pacific strategic Again, interests. Brigadier. Really specifically. Indo Asia Pacific yeah. strategic interests. You know interests. what? I'll say it and then you nod. Our I feel like this is how every like negotiation for America, America's defense goes as well. And then we just say, yeah, oh, okay. Seems legit. Four billion more dollars? Okay. You got it. Indo-Asia Pacific yeah. strategic. You know what? I'll say it and then you nod. Our trade routes. Yeah. And who is our number one trading partner? Shall we use an odd system? Sure. China? Yeah. I think that's everybody's number one trading partner. So under this scenario, we're spending close to... But I do know, from my extensive knowledge, um, China buys a lot of your guys' rare earth metals, don't they? $30 billion. <laughs> I've learned a thing or two from watching all these Australian videos. China? Yeah. And cows, don't they? Don't they buy a lot of beef from you guys? So under this scenario, we're spending close to $30 billion a year to protect our trade with China. From, from China. China. <laughs> and that doesn't strike anyone at this table as odd. <laughs> there you go that was funny I really like that War w who is working dogs production and how do they have the rights to upload clips from Utopia <laughs> I won't question it but um, that's a funny show I want to react to more of this show uh, hmm. I might have to watch it. Can I even watch that here in America? Utopia. This is from season three, episode seven, on the defense. Go watch Utopia. Um, oh my God, this video is only four minutes and 30 seconds long. I need to find another Utopia clip. Hold on. Okay, I found another clip from Working Dog Productions, which by the way, I was sort of like baffled to see when I was going through their channel, they also have the clips from this guy, Russell Coit. So I've actually watched videos on this channel before. Working Dog Production. 
It's just such a random name in that profile picture. It's a dog. Anyway, dealing in construction. It looked kind of funny. I don't know. We've just been asked to run an eye over the contract, see if there's any room to move. We're not the ones who need to move, mate. They all try to crunch you. That's why I've stepped in here. Right, yeah. Uh, can I just ask you about a couple of clauses? Whatever. A 36-hour week. Sounds right. But you get paid for 56 Not hours. Bad. You try toughing it out here on site. Yeah, no, it must be pretty, pretty hard. You've demanded a $120 travel allowance. Our boys have got to get there. But there is here in the city. <laughs> and it's payable even on roster days off. Sure, but how many of those are there? 42. 48. I think you're fine. That's an old draft. 17? No, we've updated since then. They've updated it. OK. <laughs> Uh, I thought you blokes were keen on this project. Well, I think everyone wants it to proceed. We're just trying to work out how the costs are blown out. Hard to pin these things down. Yeah, I've pinned down total labour charges. They're double the original budget. You pay peanuts, you get monkeys. Peanuts? That guy's going to be on 120000 a year. What price for safety? 70000 <laughs> What are you going to get for 70000 bucks? Uh, high school maths teacher. Uh, you've also got a $90 <laughs> a day penalty because of portable toilets. I will not compromise on worker safety. How is a portal of compromising <laughs> on personal safety? This is the thing. You blokes sit around in your air-conditioned boardrooms, try toughing it out here on site. Yeah, who's currently toughing it out out here, though? Hot weather policy. 30 degrees. It was forecast 35. Unsafe conditions. Is it? See you, Paul. You know what's also kind of amusing to me? The only Australian man I've ever met in real life looked exactly like these guys. Like, there's so much construction and mining in Australia that, of course, the one Australian dude I ever met was in a hard hat with a vest on talking about mining. Weather policy. 30 degrees. It was forecast 35. Unsafe conditions. Yes, sir. See you, Paul. See you Monday. Nah, no, tardy on Monday. See you Tuesday. Good on you. Yeah. Mate, <laughs> you want to make some savings? Yep. Get serious the with the top end of town. We're not budging. OK. All <laughs> right, well, um, thanks for your time. Yeah, no, let's go. That's pretty funny. All right, well, there we go. Looks like a funny show. Thank you for the suggestion. I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Maybe I'll watch some more of this. Well, not tomorrow, but at some point I'll probably watch some more of this Utopia show. I enjoy it. Um, goodbye.